Thanks for being here, everyone. I'm Eric Connert. And I'm Nettie Rampour. We want to get right to this breaking news. The man accused of shooting a San Diego police officer earlier this morning is now in custody. An hours long standoff is now over. The suspect had been barricaded inside of a home for quite some time. CBS 8's Chris Grow live at the scene with the latest developments on this breaking news story, including how the officer is doing here. Chris? Yeah, and, and just minutes ago, we actually got that word that the, the shooter, that alleged shooter had been taken into custody. That man that they believe shot that San Diego police officer. Now that officer also at the same time recovering at the hospital after successful surgery. But we want to now play you a bit of that dispatch sound the moment the shots were called out. Fired, shots fired on the west side of the parking lot, west side of the apartment building. You know, it says take cover there. He's still on the west side. Now, according to San Diego Police Department, they say that this man was driving a possible stolen vehicle and would not stop. That's why it led to a car chase with a police helicopter overhead happening very early on in this morning. It was a lengthy chase and eventually that vehicle was abandoned near here, 45th and Logan Avenue. And now around 1.30 in the morning, the driver got out of the vehicle. That's when those shots were fired that you just heard there being reported on that dispatch radio. That person then ran into what's kind of being described is a detached townhome here in this area and uh, uh, went ahead and hold himself in there. And that's what led to that hours long standoff. Now, what we're being told about the arrest so far is that several non lethal tactics were used to get this person out that they uh, that at no point did officers fire their weapons. However, again, this investigation still very much early on in its uh, lifespan right now. We do know that flashbangs were used. We heard those. We uh, even uh, believe that a canine may have been used as well too. But again, that person in custody. As for that police officer, we were at Scripps Mercy earlier today, especially around that 530 hour when we saw Police Chief David Nislite visiting the officer. We know his family is with him, but Nislite back here at this scene hours after we saw him at the hospital. Very emotional in describing the officer, the hearing the news that an officer uh, had been shot. Yeah, it's emotional. Um, you know, these officers go out every single day and risk their lives for strangers. Um, and yeah, you know, I got a call probably about a little before 1 30 this morning that had an officer down. And uh, coming up through a law enforcement family, having a son on this department, it hurts. It's, uh, I'm blessed that he's stable. He will survive this incident. Blessed that his family's with him. But it's difficult. Now, uh, here's also, again, some of that video there of Chief Nislight there arriving at Scripps Mercy Hospital and then eventually leaving to get to the scene here uh, where he was able to give that briefing that you just heard from. Uh, but as for the briefing that we just received uh, from the public information officer here on scene shortly after that arrest was made, we're being told that no identifying information about this person is being released at this time. So we don't know their name. We don't know uh, what uh, how old they could be or kind of Again, any of those normal descriptions that normally come out shortly after an arrest has been made. We're told that the investigation is still very early on right now. We're waiting to see if they are possibly getting medical treatment right now, especially if a canine was used. We're waiting on those details right now, like we know many of you at home are as well, too. So continue to stay with CBS 8 as we wait for more of this story to develop. And you can always check for updates on CBS 8.com.